All right, some atoms are ionized when they rub together. Okay, so we can either provide energy or you can rub some atoms together to make them ionized. What does ionized mean? They either gain or lose electrons. So when you rub objects together, one object will gain electrons while the other one, when you pull them apart, you've got a negatively charged object and a positively charged object. This is essentially because one substance is greedy for electrons. It really wants electrons, the insulator, while the other substance doesn't really care. It's pretty happy whether it loses, gains, it's not too fussed. Okay? An example of this, the one that we commonly see, and there's a good little trick to this where you can make a balloon levitate. If you charge a balloon up and you put running water next to it, it will levitate and spin as the water goes past it without touching it. It's very, very cool. You can sell your magic balloon as well, make your money on some form of dodgy screen. Well, we might do that in a prac next lesson if we can get some time. Okay, but an example of how we can create charged objects is commonly used with the balloon and the hair. If you get a balloon and rub it against your hair, the hair sticks up. The reason it does that is because when you rub the, the balloon against your hair, electrons, now it doesn't matter where the electrons are going from the balloon into your hair or the other way around. Let's just assume the electrons are going from your hair into the balloon. What happens to your hair is that it gets a slight positive charge whilst the balloon gets all those extra electrons. Same number of protons but all these extra electrons, which means that now it's got a negative charge and your hair has got a positive charge. What do objects with opposite charges want to do? Attract. 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 So they want to come together. Which is why when you hold the balloon above your hair, it will cause your hair to stick up. Now let's say I rub the balloon on my hair and I get it really charged up and I walk over to Cody and hold the balloon over his hair what do you think will happen? Have a think. Have a think. The balloon is still negatively charged, correct? Cody's hair is neutral. But what's going to happen to the electrons in Cody's hair? What are they going to do? If you're an electron at the end of Cody's hair and this big negatively charged ball comes towards you, what do you do? You go away from the ball, correct? So what happens to Cody's hair? It becomes positively charged. And then? And then the hair attracts. So even neutrally charged objects and objects with charge can have a slight attraction. It won't be as strong as my hair, but there still will be a slight attraction. Clear?